Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent, Cody's Path. So anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you were up, and let's go. Let's see, we were on... Okay, alright. Yeah, what you described is competition, right? Business owners have to constantly up their game to be able to reel more customers in. It just sounds like a perfectly normal business tactic to me. Is that so? But it still feels wrong if what I do would make them go out of business, if it comes to that. Yeah, I know what you mean. I remember a lot of local neighborhood restaurants back in my world going out of business because a new chain brand just swooped in and took all the customers away. Chain brand? Oh, uh, how do I put this? Do you guys have any well-known restaurant or food brand around here? Hmm, not any that I can think of. Unless you mean food from different regions, then I guess I can understand what you mean. Yeah, let's just go with that. The point is, I think it's normal for a restaurant to close down if business is failing. But we aren't at that point yet, right? I mean, the Honeysuckle must be really popular in the city, and yet people don't stop dining at these different places elsewhere. Hmm. Okay, I think I understand what you mean. Yeah, so you're fine, really. And the fact that you also worry about other people's business means that you're the opposite of a bad person, Cody. You're just that compassionate. Thank you, Cassie. You're too kind. Hmm. But I still feel like I don't, des like I don't deserve good things because I'm still not worthy enough. I've been cooking for a long time, Cassian, but I'll admit that I still don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Hmm. I think I can kind of see the problem here. What do you mean? When was the last time you ate something other than your own recipe? You mean now? Ah, let me rephrase that. When was the last time you ate someone else's buffet steak instead of the one you always cooked? Oh. Not a long time, I think. I spent a long time trying to improve my technique on cooking steaks. Well, then there we have it. Your tongue is just so used to the, to the taste of your recipe that when you taste someone else's, it, sh it shocked you this much. But don't take that as a bad thing, Cody. I think it's a nice opportunity. Opportunity? But how? I mean, you agreed that Tensei steak tasted really good, but do you know exactly what makes it that way? I ask that because I'm genuinely curious. Hmm, let me think. I guess he might have basted the steaks more thoroughly and let it rest for a few minutes before serving it to us. But maybe he added something to the garlic butter mix. There's a very slight hint of acidity. Maybe lime juice? Huh. I've never seen anyone cook steak like that. See? You know a lot more about st cooking than I do, and you can already think of something. I wouldn't be able to figure anything out for years even if I try to recreate this his steak. Hmm, I, I see. Sorry, Cassie, and I will take some time to process what we talked about. But thank you. You're welcome, Cody. And like I said, you're fine. Don't worry so much. I'll try not to. Well, let's finish up so we can get back in time for dinner. I want to try the steak again, see if I can figure out the differences so I can improve my recipe even more. That's the nice. That's the spirit, Cody. Yay. After finishing up the meal, you both rested for a bit before leaving the restaurant. Better go back to the guild, then. You followed Cody back to the tavern, and as soon as you, as soon as you made it back to the guild... You could see Max and Toby at one of the back tables as you walked in. <clears throat> Good evening, guys. Ah, uh, Cody, Cassian, welcome back. Managed to find anything today? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, nobody around here knows anything more than we do, anyway. I see. But still, come, have dinner with us. Uh, okay. Aw, oh, Max, I thought this was dinner time just for us. Hey, don't be like that, Toby. The more the merrier, right? All right, all right. Grab some chairs, then, you two. As soon as you sat down, Ashford was quick to swing by to take your orders. Ah, uh, sir, welcome back. Ash. I apologize for not noticing you this afternoon, sir. I was terribly busy, but still, this was no excuse to even greet you. That was no excuse to even greet you prop. That was no excuse to even greet you properly. Please accept my sincerest apology. The snow leopard bowed before Cody, who only ended up rather flustered. All right, Ash. No need to make a scene, you know. It's fine. As you say, sir. So, so what would you gentlemen like for dinner? Well, is everyone fine with buffalo steak again for dinner? It'll be my treat. Ooh, sounds good. More steak for dinner? You s more steak for dinner, you say? All right. Sure, I'm down. Whatever Max is having, I'll have it. All right, then. All right, then. Four buffalo steaks, Ash. Coming right up. So, Max, you won't believe what I found today. Yeah? What did you find? The farm. Oh, are you absolutely sure, Toby? Yep, yep. It must be the one. Has to be. And what are the farmers? Are they around? Sadly, no. A hurricane swept through and destroyed all the crops. How unfortunate. And the cattle, were they around as well? No such luck. But we did manage to unearth a single Yamato. Oh, how much? A fistful? Just a single piece, but a very juicy one. Ooh, how nice. That will season our stew nicely. 
You betcha. The spice merchants will love what we found. Hmm. All right, second, y'all. Good, good. Make use of every bit of it. Squeeze it dry if you have to. Of course. Waste not, want not is our motto, after all. Um, Cody? Yeah, Cassian? You have any idea what they're talking about here? Hmm, I'm having trouble keeping up, too. The snow leopard happened to swing by, swing by with four plates of buffalo steak. This time he didn't say much, just gave you all a shallow bow as he returned to the kitchen. You guys good? Yeah, uh, let's eat. You guys can, can keep dinner going, you guys can keep going over dinner. Sure, sure. So anyways... As you chowed down on the food, Cody slowly explained to you that Max and Toby were talking in codes. He doesn't quite understand what, ci what cipher they're using, but he can still somewhat get the gist of their exchange so far. Toby had just finished his reconnaissance of the suspected areas of nether smuggling and was now relaying his findings to Max. So y'all, let me see. I'm just going to add the music at. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's... Apparently, he and, the, he and a few other operatives were meant to set up an ambush by that area, but someone must have tipped the suspects off. Any people previously present on scene quickly slipped away, leaving the fertilizer facilities nothing more than a ghost town. Despite that, Toby's team must have found more clues leading to the smugglers' main base of operation. I see. Anything else? Nope, that's pretty much all she wrote. Alright, best bet about it. Best be about it, then. Okay, it's getting late. I should take Cassian back to his room. Then I can join you guys here. Okay, good night, Cassian. See ya. Bye, guys. And so Cody escorted you back to the dorms, though on the way back you couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. You let out a deep sigh as you arrived at your room. Well, that was something. Yeah, did you get what I talked about at least? I th think so. It was hard to follow, but I can kind of get the gist. That's good at least. Uh-huh. Well, thank you for today, Cody. It was quite fun and interesting. Ha! <laughs> you think so? Well, that's good to hear. Sleep well, Cassian. See you tomorrow. Good night, Cody. With a sigh, you went to clean up and went straight to bed. As you lie down and try to sleep, you couldn't help but think about Cody. Huh. Thinking about it probably won't get anything done. Oh, well. You closed your eyes and tried to get comfortable. You eventually managed to drift to sleep for a while. Up oh, to be continued. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. So it seems like we are done with Cody's path for now. Let me go ahead and save it right there. So, um, I don't know if anyone else's path got updated. I'll have to take a look. Um, because I always love, hey, I always love more Heroes Advent. Y'all always love more Heroes Advent, so, you know, I think Heroes Advent might be here to stay. <laughs> you know, just, just a hunch, just a hunch. But yeah, anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to go, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. And a few more seconds, I'll be at eight minutes. Okay, thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.